right, we're out in our uh, marsh rat boat today doing a little beaver trap and we caught these two kits. Um, and we're using these uh, coral or hamcock similar type uh, cage traps and uh, thought it'd be a great time to make another little video here showing how we're doing it and uh, what's worked for us. These are, some of you might think, well geez, you know, I'll never use these things, but uh, they're actually a pretty good little beaver tool. All else fails, if you can't get them in a basket, you got to use dynamite, the way I look at it. But uh, especially areas where you're using a lot of beaver deceivers, they're used to seeing the wire. They think they can just walk right in there. So they've really been working out good for us. Um, like I said, we got one little kit here, one right down the road. That tells us basically the, the uh, lodge is upstream. So we brought along the marsh rat boat, Mallard Marine Corporation out of Oregon, nice little sturdy boats, and uh, we're going to run through a little bit of this uh, Hancock beaver trapping. Well, I usually like to set these at home, but we didn't get on it here. I'll show you the way I do it. It isn't the way that they show in the manual. Um, basically, I open it up and I just hop right in that thing. Getting all my stuff. In a row here. Trying to get the thing through the right lead there. Once I got that in, I feel pretty confident. Hopefully, anyway. Bring the firing mechanism over. Hook it in the safety. And you're done. Pretty simple. Set. Oh. But if you haven't set before, you just grab them, throw them in. When I'm looking for a location to set these traps, I want it funneled in as tight as I, I can here. And a lot of guys say it don't matter if you leave it open this way or not. Um, I don't know. I kind of want them to go straight in there. So i got to block it a little bit. I'm just going to take whatever i got in the area. Just maybe pinch it in a little bit, uh, put it in there nice and stable. They say it doesn't matter. I mean, Hancock says, you know, zero inches to infinity feet. I've never, uh, we don't have a whole bunch of ice, so I've never tried them underwater. So I can't tell you about that. Um, I like it anywhere from, I guess it'd be four inches to almost 18 inches underwater. But I think you'll learn that as you, as you uh, experiment. And I think as the springs go uh, shot, you might want to go a little bit deeper. That's one thing you do have to replace every once in a while. Once you've got your spot picked out, you're going to do like any beaver set. You're going to rough it up behind it. You're going to want to get some attractions for sticks. I usually throw a little bit of grass out there, peeled stick. Um, I'll huck a little bit of lure there, put a majority of my lure, whether it's food, curiosity, um, or territorial on here, and I'll also find a place up in the air someplace, get that wafting out, draw them down here. We're a little ways down from the lodge, so I'd like to bring them down here where they're not going to be spooked if, if they get spooked by these things. So there you have it. Pretty simple. Just like I said, your basic set. You can throw a foothold here, a substitute. But um, this is our legal Washington type trapping. Yeah, another thing I always try to do is cover my tracks on the way out. Throw a little grass over your entry exit way. Gonna direct them into your set. And let's see what we get there in the morning. Right, right in front of us in these little bushes is a uh, is where the lodge is. See, it kind of opens up into a couple of these different little um, man-made habitat type areas. A conner bear would be great right up that run there, but right now we're just going to run these baskets. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to set downstream here just a little bit with a uh, caster set, let the wind bring it up around the ditch. Um, I might put a couple dabs here on the trees to draw them around. 
and then on the other end I'll do a curiosity set um, a little closer to the den I don't really up ahead of us here is a nice little pull-out spot they've actually been going into the grass and eating the grass here earlier um, now it's kind of flooded makes for two different areas um, this is a pretty good spot for a caster mound type set in the basket I'm gonna say that it uh, kind of separates um, the new water from the old water that other beaver is gonna come in here and say hmm I'm gonna say hmm theory I run this set like you would any other caster mound build your caster mound put your lure on um, I always use a white stick as a better attractant do a little bit of lure in the air a little bit here and there um, simple Okay, this one we just threw some food out here, food lure, tied a couple sticks on there, blocked it in, ready to go. Just like any of your sets, you want to double check your safety, make sure you took that off, double set your trigger, double check your trigger, make sure you took that, got that set. And then it's a waiting game. I can see boys some beautiful spots for some counter bears in here.